Alright guys, so today I'm going to talk to you about Fiesta. Um, here in San Antonio, Texas, we celebrate Fiesta in April every year. And for the last 127 years, I want to say. Um, Fiesta started back in 1891. Uh, I'm just going to give you like a brief um, summary or a brief story on how it started so back in 1891 um, there was a group of, of ladies who were dressed in yellow they all dressed in yellow and um, <clears throat> they decided to have a parade and in that parade they were throwing flowers at each other so the reason for that was because they were mocking the battle of San Jacinto at the Battle of the Alamo. Um, and so they were honoring the heroes of the Alamo. So that was their version of, you know, throwing the flowers like a battle. And um, some years after, um, they changed the name to the Battle of Flowers. Uh, we have a Battle of Flowers parade, we have a um, river parade. And we have a flambeau parade, which is at night. Um, and um, so that's how Fiesta started. And um, so they had decorated like carriages and, you know, um, baby buggies and bikes and stuff like that. And they paraded in front of the Alamo. Um, and so over the years, it has grown because they only celebrated one day and now we celebrated 11 days and um, so fiesta started yesterday which was uh, thursday april the 20th and that was opening ceremonies which happened at hemisphere um so they do a whole like you know celebration where they do the countdown and then you know they throw a bunch of confetti and stuff like that um, there's entertainment, you know, the, the service branch, the branch services are there, you know, the Marines, Air Force, and um, San Antonio actually has kings and queens who, um, um, they're from organizations that um, raise money for scholarships for high school students, and there are so many organizations that do that and then they like select their king or queen by whoever uh, raised the most money for that year and um, and so a lot of organizations they make medals you know like the medals that the soldiers wear you know they pin them on and they have their little medal um, I'm gonna show you some medals um, here's one and this one has all the branches. Um, so this one has, it says Ambassadors, Fiesta, Army, Marines, Navy, Air Force, Coast Guard. And uh, this was from, night from I'm sorry, this was from 2015. So what happens is during Fiesta, all these organizations, they make medals and they hand them out and they give them free. Uh, some people will make them and then they sell them. Um, here's last year's medal um, from our local grocery store, HEB. And uh, it's really cute. It has one of those shiny medals. And so people just pin them on. And there's a story about all these medals also. So like every year uh, during Fiesta, Whoever collects the most medals from the whole city, um, they have the contest and to see who's got the most medals. And it can only be the medals for that same year. Um, and I think the way they do it is they they put all the medals on a weighing machine to see how heavy it is, how heavy they are. And um, and there's always a bunch of festivals where you know people are giving away their medals and trading medals um, yesterday at the opening ceremonies they have what's called a pin pandemonium 
and it's a section where people trade metals or they give metals or sell metals and um, so I wanted to make this video because um, the local newspaper which is called Express News they've always held a fiesta metal contest now this metal contest hold on let me lower the music a little I had it on on Spanish station to uh, you know celebrate fiesta because you'll hear a lot of fiesta um, you'll hear a lot of Tejano music during fiesta especially like at the market square um, anyway um, I'll talk to you about the market square in a, in a bit so um, so the newspaper would have a contest and their rules are you know their rules were to make a medal that represents Fiesta, San Antonio some medals could be with like local celebrities or the um, you know like movie stars or or music stars musical stars something like that um, you know it could be of anything you wanted to make but it had to like incorporate Fiesta so some medals also were made like with um, you know important people like the president or you know like the um, the Spurs because that's San Antonio is known for the not just the Alamo but the uh, but like the San Antonio Spurs the basketball team so people would put like the players faces on their medal and say something with it you know um, so as far as I can remember that I entered this contest was in 2003 and uh, my first medal that I had ever entered um, actually oh, I had it all here and it the fan blew it all to the ground I mean to the floor so let me show you here's a clipping that I saved from 2003 and so, so, wait, let me tell you a little bit more about the medals. So, like, when you would make the medals and enter it into the contest, the newspaper staff would have a judging panel, and they would um, pick the best medals or the most, you know, um, cute, you know, quirky kind of medal, you know. And, and you would have to send, like, a little story, a little brief uh, summary about your medal. So... In 2003, um, my medal, the first one that I sent in, I was excited that they chose it. So my medal, I like I can't find it, I don't know, it's been so long. But here it is right here, you can see it, if I can point it, let me see, get a pin. So like this medal right here, it says Fiesta San Antonio 2003. So that's my, that's my medal, let me see if I can show a little bit better. There it is in the middle. Point at it one more time. That one right there. So that was my that was my first medal that I entered and it was chosen. And of course, right here, I don't know if you can see it. There's a little story right there about it. So that was my medal that I had entered. And some of the other medals that were chosen are, you know, and they put a the little story about them. So that was in 2003, and then in, I want to say, let me see, find the other one that I made in, oh, I lost 2008, 7, Jesus. oh yes, the other one is down here, actually. Another one fell, okay, so this one also I can't find, but I, you know, there's another one that I made. This was in 2005, and I had made this one right here. And so what basically it says Fiesta on top. And this little part right here is like a piece of a map that leads right to San Antonio. So I, my title was, um, I think it was something like, um, or let me see, I think I wrote it right here. Oh, yeah. So the title of my medal was called All Roads Lead to Fiesta, 2005. So that's what it was, that one right there. And see some other people sent in theirs and they were chosen also. I think mine was like honorable mention or something. So that was 2005. And then there's another one that I entered. And this one is called 
las gorditas show your shoes so basically like I said they were supposed to be funny and incorporated into fiesta so uh, what I did was I got a picture of three gorditas some Mexican um, food you know that we usually eat and I put a bunch of feet on it because let me tell you the story about show your shoes so like during the parades um, we have three major parades and in the day parade um, we have a lot of the queens that uh, ride the floats and well in 1973 there was a story and I read it and all that it said that um, people were like curious about what do the queens wear do they actually wear you know shoes underneath or are they barefooted or you know like what are they wearing so some some people started shouting show your shoes show your shoes and so since 73 and until now all these years that have gone by that's the thing that we yell at the parades show your shoes and then the queens will pull their dress up a little and they'll show what they're wearing and they'll like you know so that was what my medal was about was you know show your shoes and the gorditas the gorditas are also like chubby ladies you know but I use the food to say chubby ladies show your shoes you know all right, so that was in 2000, uh, I'm not sure, I think that was 2006. All right, let me see what else I have here. Let's see. All right, so in 2008, in 2008, um, Hillary Clinton was running for president uh, um, against Obama, and I decided to um, make a medal on Hillary Clinton, and this is the medal and basically it's Hillary's face with a little crown and a taco and some feet and basically the name of the medal was um, Hillary Clinton taco riendo so what it means is like a taco and riendo taco riendo it means like she's running for president so but I used the taco you get it right okay so that was my medal for 2008 and so I put my name and the date in the back and so with this medal it was also chosen in the newspaper and here it is right here so it has my name right there in 2008 um, they didn't put the picture but here it is right here I had put it on the, on the newspaper um, so yeah so it was there it was uh, one of the medals that was chosen and some of the other medals that were chosen they put them there on the, in the newspaper so I think like this one is Mona Lisa and then some of these were like a little piñata things like that so that was in 2008 and then 2008 I think I went up to what's this? okay Okay, so then, oh, and then I made another one uh, with a little wreath, and it said, Welcome to Fiesta, excuse me. And that, but that one, um, I have it at my mom's. She has it in her china cabinet. Anyway, so then this one is from 2011, and this one was called Fiesta Carnival. So it's like carnival, but I, I put carne for all the meats, and basically because you know when there's a festival there's always food for you to eat you know and so I put all the different kind of foods that we usually see at Fiesta so I added a turkey leg because can't go to Fiesta without a turkey leg and a shrimp kebab a taco a taco yeah, I want to say right a taco a sausage on a, on a stick um, chicken fajita beef fajita um, oysters yeah and there's oysters and tomorrow is our oyster bake so I'm gonna go to that festival uh, hot dogs uh, shish kebabs and another taco a beef taco so basically what I did is I I, I had taken a picture of the Ferris wheel um, some year before and then I just incorporated all, all the meats on there and so like I said it's it was called Fiesta Carnival and this one also was chosen as best best food medal um, and I don't know where that paper is but so it was chosen in the newspaper and yeah I was excited for that too 
So, you know, you got to be creative in, in making these medals and stuff when you, you enter the contest. Now, um, here's another medal. Oh, here's 2007. Yeah, I thought I didn't have it. Okay, so here's the medal for 2007. You can see it right there where my finger is, I think. Let's see. Yeah. So anyway, this one was called um, I Flip Over Fiesta. And basically it's because um, when we celebrate Fiesta here, we have day Fiesta, like all the festivities during the day, and then we have Fiesta at night. So I decided to make a, a, a medal that flips over. So we have the day and the night. And in the day picture, um, one year I entered the uh, Fiesta poster contest. I think it was in 2004, and I used it as my day picture. And the night picture, I used uh, the Fiesta lights that they have at night. So this was my medal for 2007. And then this was 2013. I just basically put a whole bunch of uh, beads and sequins and all kinds of shiny little things. It's supposed to say Fiesta. And so that was the medal. This one wasn't chosen, I guess, I don't know. You can't win all of them, you know. All right, and then um, I wanna show you this year's. But there's a story behind this whole video, the reason why I'm doing this. Well, so like I said, for many, many years, I want to say like maybe 25 years, uh, the newspaper, the local newspaper had this contest to make these medals. Well, this year, um, I believe the person who was doing the contest stepped down and there was a new person who took over. This is how I, I get it because I really don't know the whole story. Um, they didn't like have a story story about it in the newspaper they should have you know but they didn't and I'm just assuming I shouldn't assume but I'm assuming that that um, there was a new lady's name that I saw on there and she turned the whole contest into a different um, way because it's not it wasn't this year it wasn't about make your own medals it was more about you know the manufactured medals like this that I showed you so the contest was about the manufactured medals and um, we didn't have the one where you can make your own medal. Although I did send in my entry for this year um, only because um, I couldn't believe it. Like, are you sure? You know, like I thought, you know, we always had this contest. And uh, so I went ahead and submitted it. But unfortunately, I found out Thursday morning when the medals came, or Wednesday morning, that there was no more you know creative contest but anyway like I said I still wanted to make the one for this year and uh, this year I decided to focus on the meme of um, from the from the um, the viral sensation that little young girl her name is Danielle Brigoli um, and uh, she came out on Dr. Phil one time and her famous meme is um, cash me outside how about that I think she says it like that and uh, so I decided to make her into my medal and incorporate her into Fiesta and this is the Sears medal so basically what I did was I, I put cash me outside how about no I mean sorry wait I was reading her meme but this is what I made up cash me out cash me at Fiesta how about that so I just put Fiesta on the side and a bunch of little jewels all around. And uh, during Fiesta, we wear um, a flower crown. Well, the girls like to wear a flower crown with a lot of um, streamers hanging. So I put all her little streamers right there. And this year, I mean, so for many years, um, Fiesta opening sermons used to be in front of the Alamo. So I went ahead and put the Alamo like she's coming out of the Alamo. And um, because she can do whatever she wants. <laughs> anyway, and um, this year de they, the city decided to um, celebrate at Hemisphere. And at Hemisphere, there is um, San Antonio is known for the Tower of the Americas. And this is it right here. And it overlooks the whole city of San Antonio. So I added the tower and the date. And so this was my medal for this year. 
unfortunately like I said they didn't have the craft medals so but like I give one uh, I would give a, each medal that I would make every year I'd give one to my mom and my sister and they have my whole collection at their house so anyway like I said I sent it in anyway but I was sad when I found out that they weren't doing them this year so I'm gonna show you a few more medals and then I gotta like cut it all right so last year marked um, 125 oh there it is 125 years of fiesta in San Antonio and this was the medal for last year and then um, this year uh, medal is from John F Kennedy High School the mighty rockets so every high school in San Antonio has been making their own medal and uh, it's kind of like a fundraiser for them so that helps the school um, this one's from Edgewood High School. Edgewood was in San Antonio for many years, since the 1940s, I think, or 30s, but they closed the school down in the 1990s. Um, and then the freshman class of Kennedy High School also made a medal as a fundraiser, so I wanted to buy both of those from Kennedy. Um, let me see. Here's another medal from a barbecue place called Augie's. They have really good barbecue there. And that's it. Oh, my last medal that I have is from the Spurs when they won the championship. And that's it. So I hope you liked my video with my Fiesta medals. And um, I just hope the San Antonio Express News goes back to their, you know, creative medals because that's what San Antonio was known for. And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who are sad that we're not having that contest anymore anyway so if you like the video please uh, leave a message uh, just if you want and um, we'll I'll maybe uh, do another video another time and uh, like we say in San Antonio Viva Fiesta Viva All right, bye